Welcome to another uh, weekly update where you look at the overall big picture of the market uh, so we can see uh, which way the kind of wind is blowing so uh, we know whether to buy or sell or to just stay out uh, regarding individual stock trades as well as keeping an eye on the you know the really big picture on you know where the stock market is going because that affects everything not uh, most of all uh, your um, your pension um, so uh, here we are starting with I'm starting with the Dow Jones although the Dow Jones doesn't mean much these days uh, compared to the S&P 500 this is the one that's really just just gone in just headed for the moon of late um, so there it is there 21,000 uh, I did mention uh, a while ago that um, if uh, the Dow hit 20,000 that's a psychological number that it would just keep on pushing higher and there it is another thousand points um, five percent higher after it broke through the 20,000 uh, psychological numbers are um, way more important than people give them credit for. And they say the stock market is a uh, is a measure of uh, the emotions of uh, investors. So the party goes on. <coughs> um, the SPX is not is a similar picture, just not as um, crazy as uh, as this one. Uh, there's the three year chart. Um, and uh, what we're seeing there on the weekly is that the the action has been up 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 and then this week when it closes in the middle like that uh, that little little peg there that is kind of like a little bit of uh, pausing for breath or perhaps even indecision about where to go next if you look at the daily chart um you can see the action this week uh, trump gave a very um impressive speech um addressed the congress on um the middle of the week uh put a lot of fears to rest and about uh, free trade and so on it came across very well and the stock market jumped up and uh, the next day though interestingly um you can see that that little red area there that closed at the bottom of its range uh, that was that is a that's um that's a distribution day uh, but there's only a few happened in the last uh last uh, few months or so but that is one of the first times in a while i've seen it close at the bottom of its range on that day there uh, and volume is tapering off so <clears throat> a little bit of a warning sign there not something i've been warning about for for weeks whilst i'm still you know in the party um i haven't been adding anything new because um the market is um uh, getting ahead of itself i'm not going to get in the way of that by shorting it but um look how high it is above its 200 day moving average here um, yeah, that, that's a long way and even in a bull market, you know, you need healthy corrections to make it sustainable um, You know, having said that I'm, I'm not seeing any imminent uh, Warnings uh, this thing could easily go on for another week, but it is definitely getting uh, hotter and hotter uh, With uh, the odd warning flag here and there. So uh, that's all for the big picture. I'll speak to you uh, next week um, The next video will be for members only uh, of my 99 club where we talk about uh, individual things i'm doing and uh, the doors are going to be open again soon uh, if you're not a member of the 99 club uh, the seminar this year that inaugurates you as a member is on uh, july uh, the um, it's going to be on july the first and second i think or june 30th for, and then july the first and second uh, invites will go out soon first come first served and so uh, i'll speak to you next week <laughs>